Alright, let's have a look at these circular measure questions uh, because I find out oh, this question actually is quite easy even though it's a L-level POMF 1 questions. So in this diagram, they actually uh, tell you some length. So RAB, so RAB, which is here, is part of the circle with center O. So you can see the radius here is 8 centimeter and 8 centimeter, and then the radius is 8. So, and then you have another art length, which is the BC, is a part of the circle with the center A. So therefore, when this art length with the center A, then I know AB is a radius, and AC will be another radius. So this information tell me what? This information actually tell me the length of OC will be 4 cm. Because both of these one must be the same length. Because AC and AB are the radius of this sector, uh, ABC. Alright, then, right, this is everything we have. Then right now they ask us to find the angle of BAO. Basically, they ask for angle A. B, A, O, they ask for this angle. All right, I have a triangle, which I have three sides without any angle. We know that in order to find this one, we need to use the cosine rule, which is, I, I can say, cos A will equals to B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. All right, this is the formula. Uh, this is the cosine rule. I just make the cos as a subject so that I can easily find the angle. But how are we going to identify which one is A, B, or C is quite easy. B and C will be the two length beside the beside the angle. So you can see this length I will call B and this length I will call C. Okay, I, or I can call this one B, this one C, it doesn't matter. A is an important one because there's a minus here. A will be opposite the angle one, which is 8 centimeter. Alright, so then I will say cos the angle. Uh, you can straight away do angle B, A, O if you want. Or you want to write a short form Cos A also can. Alright, okay, well, equals to B square, which is 12 square, plus C square, 8 square, minus the opposite 8 square, divided by 2BC, 12 and 8. Alright, then if I want to find this angle, BAO, it will be very easy. I just need to type my calculator, shift cos. Uh, make sure in radian, right? Right now you can see my calculator there is show D here, which is degree. I want to do shift menu change the angle units to the radian number two. All right, right now you can see the R there. Then I just insert everything. I put a fraction first, so 12 square plus eight square uh, minus eight square. Divided by two multiply 12, multiply eight. And then I can tap enter. All right, I can get the angle easily, which is 0 0.7227 radian. Okay, this is how easy we can uh, get the two mark here. All right, then we will go to the part B and C. B basically they ask us to find the area of the shadow region, and C they ask us to find the parameter of the shadow region, which is four mark and three mark here. All right, in order to save the space, I will just uh, use the space here. So let me just label this angle, which is zero point seven two two seven. Okay. Because I need to save some space, so I will write here. Of course, in the exam, you have to write in the uh, space of the part B and part C. All right, right now, I want to find the area of the shaded region. So basically, what I will do is I, I need to find the sector A, B, C. And then I want to minus this triangle. All right, so the sector area of sector is very easy, which is half R square theta. This one for area of sector. And then if I want to find area of triangle, I will do half uh, BC sine A. So this one is area of triangle. Alright, so I will use uh, both of these formula in order to find the area of shaded region. So I will say area of shaded region. Alright, so I will just find the area of sector first, which is half R square. My R is 12, right? Square. And my theta, which is this one, 0 0.7227. 7, 2, 2, 7. All right, then minus the area of triangle. Okay, triangle, same thing, you need to decide which one is B and C. B and C basically is the both side, which is like 12 and 8. And angle sine A, capital A will be the angle between. All right, it's quite easy. So it'll be half, 12, 8, and then sine angle between 0 0.7227. 
All right, then this one you can just type everything into the calculator. You will uh, get the answer easily. So, yeah, because over here you have signed some radian angle. So you want to make sure um, the calculator is in R. If indeed, then this one will be wrong here. So you must be very careful. So we half multiply 12 square multiply 0 0.7227 minus half I will just insert everything into the calculator here. Multiply sign 0 0.7227. Okay, I can close the bracket, tap enter, then I get four mark here, which is 20 point or 287. Okay, centimeter. All right, then they ask us to find the parameter of shadow region for last part, part C. All right, you know, you get the parameter of shaded region, I know here is 8 and I know this is 4, I just need to find the art length of BC. So we have a formula for art length, which is S equals to R theta. R must be radius and theta must be in radian. So this one is for the art length. Alright, just remember the formula will make you get this tree mark very easy. So therefore, I will just do something like 8 plus 4 plus the art length of BC, which is R theta. R will be 12. Theta will be 0 0.7227. Okay, so I just plus um, 3 of these. So, okay, so this is uh, basically is 12 plus 12 multiplied 0 0.7227. Okay, then I will get a final answer. It's quite close to the area. This, this one is centimeter square, this area. This is uh, 2, 4. This one is centimeter. All right, this is how we actually get a total of 9 mark, 2 mark for the angle, 4 mark for the area, and then last 3 mark is for the um, parameter of the shadow region. So I would say it's quite easy to get uh, this 9 mark in L level PLMF1. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.